Hi guys, this is Nitin Power. Welcome to my channel. So in my last video, I covered different types of dimensional modelings. What are types of there and what are the different types of schemas are available? Stars, star schema, snowflake schema, and then galaxy schema. And in this video, we are trying to cover the slowly changing dimension. So what exactly is this only changing dimension? So slowly changing dimension is a dimension table that stores and manages both the current and historical data over the time in the data warehousing. So it is considered and implemented as one of the most critical util tasks for tracking the history of the dimensional records. As you know that we have a data warehouse. In data warehouse, whenever we we load the initial data, then the history historical or the incremented data will come. So at that time we it is very essential to keep track of those the new records and the older records so that's why we need that slowly changing dimensions so there are three types of slowly changing dimensions are available type 1 type 2 and type 3 so what is type 1 slowly changing dimension so type 1 slowly changing dimension that overrides the existing data thus the existing data is lost and it is not stored anywhere else this is this default type of dimension you create and you don't need to specify any additional information to create the type 1 SCT. What exactly it means? Suppose you have a record, you have loaded it, and then next time the same record comes with a different fields. So that previous records will be overwrite by the new records. So this type of slowly changing dimensions we call it as a type 1 SCD. It's a overwriting. Then we have the type 2 SCD. In type 2 setting, what happens? Type 2 SCD retains the full history of the values. Whenever the new values of the chosen attributes of the current record is closed, a new record is created with the changed data values. And this particular new record will become the current record. Each record contains the effective time and expiration type to identify the time period between which the record was active. So, giving the previous examples, you have a record and then again new record comes so that new record becomes the active one and the older record becomes the non-active one i'll give you the brief about this i'll give you the example of it currently just know that history is maintained and new record is created in the scd2 what is that type scd3 then type 3 scd stores the two versions of the values for the certain selective levels of attributes for each record that stores the previous value of the current current value of the selected attributes um, you can consider that suppose a person's city has changed previously that person belongs to some xyz city now the city was changed to abc so we have one more column which will track the history of that column so Whenever this type of things happens, we call it as a type 3 SCD. So I'll give you the example. I have already prepared the examples for it. So suppose firstly you have a record in your table. You have the supplier key, supplier code, supplier name and supplier state. It got 1, 2, 3, ABC, the supply and the state was like Andhra Pradesh. So what happened next time the same record with the supplier key came and it got supplier state got changed from Andhra Pradesh to Maharashtra. So what will happen? The older record which was present in the system, it, it will get override by this new record. So currently that history will get lost. Only you will have this record only. So whenever this happens, this is called type 1 types of SCD. Now consider the same example. Now in SCD2, you will say that there are multiple ways to like implement the SCD2. You can either have the versions like 0, 1 or Y or N. It depends on you how you want to do it. Above example, the previously city was Andhra Pradesh. Next time the record comes and it, it got changed, the supply state got changed from Andhra Pradesh to Maharashtra. So in this example, you can see that the history is maintained. You will have the history record also. So you will mark it as 0. And you have the current record also. There is another way to implement this is to have the start date and end date. 
same example previously state was andhra pradesh at that time might be like from start date like from 2000 to 2021 it he was staying over there but later on in 2022 suppose here in 2022 the state got changed okay. from there the end date might be like system default like 2099 or something or it will be null so in this case also you can see that previous history record is also maintained that it got changed like start date and end date will be there and for the new record you will have the start date but you won't have the exact end date or it will be the system default end date so whenever this type of things are there so you call it as sct2 slowly changing dimensions in type 2 you'll have start date end date or either can have versions in scd3 so giving this same example suppose your person previously this was there okay now it got changed from andhra pradesh to maharashtra so what will happen in the same example in type 3 one more column will be added current supplier state original supplier state you can say that it was andhra pradesh now current supplier state it got changed to maharashtra so you're getting like in type 1 it will get override history won't be preserved in type 2 history will be preserved and new record will be added and in type 3 we'll just have one more column added over there which will present the historical record and the current record so this is scd types type 1 type 2 and type 3 if you have any questions on this you can let me know i'll try to answer those questions